So, you have outfitted your rig with a worn winch, and you're ready to get out on the trails. Climb a few boulders, splash a little mud, and cross the occasional stream. But to really go prepared, you need to understand your winch and how it operates. This video aims to provide you with that basic understanding and show you a few of the core winching techniques. First, let's familiarize ourselves with a typical Warren winch. For this demonstration, we're working with the Warren Xeon 10S. This winch has an electrical motor powered by the vehicle's battery. The winch drum is a cylinder onto which the winch rope feeds. The winch rope is wound around the drum and fed through the fairly. The fairlead is attached to the vehicle's bumper and acts to guide the winch rope onto the spooling drum. This is the heart of a winch. In this case, a three-stage planetary gear train converts the winch motor's power into a massive pulling force. The Warren Xeon 10S has a manual clutch, which allows the operator to disengage the drum from the gear train. The brake prevents the winch from letting lines spool out, which in turn holds the vehicle in place. The control pack houses the winch's electrical controls. Power from the vehicle's battery is sent here with a corded remote that is plugged into the winch control pack. It allows the operator to control the winch direction as well as stand clear of the winch rope while operating the winch. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the basic winch parts, let's go over a few of the accessories. You'll need the winch cable damper to prevent rope recoil in the rare event of a rope failure. It's extremely important to wear protective gloves while operating the winch or handling the rope. Tree trunk protector. This must have accessory provides you with an attachment point for the winch rope to a wide variety of anchor points and objects, as well as to protect living trees. For rigging, you will need a shackle to properly connect the loop ends of cables and straps. Always use the hook strap to hold the hook and keep fingers away from the fairly as the winch rope is being spooled in. Now you're ready to set up your first pole. The following steps describe how to recover your vehicle with a single line pole, the most basic rigging arrangement. First, put on your gloves. Now disengage the manual clutch to allow free spooling of the winch drum. Free the winch hook from its anchor point. While holding the winch hook strap, pull out enough winch rope to reach your anchor point. Try to keep a certain amount of tension in the rope, otherwise it may become twisted and overwrap when slackened, leading to winch rope damage. Ideally, you'll want an anchor point that will enable you to pull straight in the direction the vehicle will move. To get the most power and efficiency from your winch, try to choose an anchor point far enough out to allow you to start with the lower level of rope on the drum. Secure the tree trunk protector around the anchor. For strength, place the rigging as low as possible on the anchor. Attach the shackle to the two ends of the strap and through the hook loop, being careful not to over tighten. Tighten the pin and back it off at quarter turn. Attach the winch rope and hook to the shackle's pin with the hook opening facing up. Once attached, do not step over the line in case the rope were to come under accidental tension. Lay the winch dampener over the winch rope, midway between the winch and the anchor point. This is an extra safety precaution to protect you in the unlikely event that the winch rope was to snap loose. Lock the winch drum by rotating the clutch lever on the winch to the engaged position. Connect the remote control. Be careful not to let the remote's cord tangle in front of the winch. Using the winch in switch on the remote control, slowly wind the winch rope until no slack remains. Once the winch rope is under tension, stand well clear, and remember, never step over it. Check your anchor, make sure all connections are secured and free of debris before continuing with the winching procedure. Check the winch rope. The winch rope should be neatly wound around the spooling drum. Make your intentions clear. Be sure that everyone in the immediate area surrounding the winching operation is completely aware of your intentions before you pull. With the winching vehicle's engine on, the transmission in neutral, your foot on the brake, and light tension already on the winch rope, begin winching slowly and steadily. Be sure that the winch rope is winding evenly and tightly around the spooling rope. For additional assistance, 
the winch vehicle can be solely driven while being pulled by the winch. Avoid shock loads by using the control switch intermittently to take up winch rope slack. Remember to avoid overheating the winch motor. For extended winching, stop at reasonable intervals to allow the winch motor to cool down. If winching from a slight angle, the rope may stack up at one end of the drum. This stack can become large enough to cause damage to the winch. Stop winching if the winch rope comes close to the tie rods, tie plate, or mounting plate. Continue pulling until the vehicle is on stable ground. Once the vehicle recovery is complete, engage the parking brake and put the transmission in park. After the recovery is complete, you will need to rewind the rope. To begin this process, release tension in the winch rope. Do this by spooling the line out until it's slack. Do not turn the clutch handle under tension. Disconnect the winch line from the anchor. Arrange the remote control lead so it cannot be caught in the winch and arrange the winch rope so it will not kink or tangle when spooled. Be sure any winch rope already on the drum is wound tightly and evenly layered. Keep the winch rope under light tension and spool the winch rope onto the winch drum in even layers. Stop frequently to tighten and straighten the layers as necessary. Repeat this process until the winch hook is the same distance as the full length of the remote control from the winch. Hold the hook strap between the thumb and forefinger to keep tension on the winch rope. Walk the winch rope towards the fairlead, carefully spooling in the remaining winch rope by pulsing the remote control switch. Store the hook at the fairlead or tension to a suitable location to the side. If you do not have the hook strap, use a length of cord or something similar. To prevent serious injury, never put your fingers inside the hook area as you are powering in. Disconnect the remote control cord from the control box and store in a clean and dry place. Winching operations are now complete. Remember to put the cap on the control box plug-in. Congratulations, you're on your way to going prepared. One last word. The information in this video is very general in nature. You should read the user guide that came with your winch for more details and important safety warnings. You can also find the basic guide to winching on warren.com.